so we are finally getting to see Hunter x Hunter and then Impact gameplay and to be quite honest with you, while I am not the biggest fan of the Marvel vs Capcom influence, I admit I am still interested just based on the fact that Aiding is the one behind development and Hunter x Hunter being one of my favorite anime ever. In no particular order, I'm going to talk about what we've seen and give you some of my thoughts on it. Visually, I'm mixed on the game. In general, I like it, but I can see that an impact looks faithful to the source material while also being on a low budget. I'm not wasting your time complaining about graphics because that's repetitive and annoying. I actually dig the UI aesthetic and the character renders are beautiful. Overall, it looks cool. It just has to grow on me and I honestly feel like an in-person experience will give me better judgment of it. 16 characters at the base roster is honestly fine for me as long as we get Biscuit, Marowum, Pito, or Nefer Pito, 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 y'all know who I'm talking about, Crollo, and Knuckle, for me anyway. Truth be told, just one season for DLC will be perfectly fine with me, as I don't want a bloated roster, personally. And while we're talking about the roster, it's actually really cool to see Machi and Uvalgen confirmed to be in the game. I assume that Machi is going to have set plays or traps with her strings and Uvalgen is going to be uh, the one character that's going to make you think that he's plus on everything he hits you with plus he has armor and he's just gonna be that character that people are gonna be scared of when they see him on the screen I feel. We can see here that there are four colors to pick for the characters however I do wish that there was at least six to eight. Hopefully there are more colors to pick in the final release, and I do want alternate outfits. Even if it's just one extra alternate outfit, that would be nice because the eight colors, hopefully it's eight or ten, you know, would make up for the lack of extra alternate outfits. This game has air dashes and there are wall bounces, which means combos are going to be extremely crazy in this. You can block in the air too, which I like. It looks as though overgear will not only boost your attack power, but it will also function as a parry which gives you an opening for offense, and your entire team will have the overgear effect instead of just the character that activated it. Quick gear looks like an install mechanic that uses a bar, but it's unknown if it's universal as we've only seen Killua activate it for god speed. Break hit might be a mechanic to stop the offense of the opponent to bring the match back to neutral. At least that's my guess since Killua did it on the ground while Hisoka did it in the air. My favorite level 3 is probably Killua's next to Gomes. You guys tell me what you think about Nen Impact so far. Did you like it or dislike it or what did you think could be improved on? Also, I encourage you to join the Nin Impact Discord server if you haven't. The community's growing and we're all excited for the game. Oh, right. One last thing I didn't even mention. My math could be off, but it looks like there are 11 stages total, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what those stages are. But yeah, guys, I'm going to catch you on the next video. Hopefully we discuss this game more. You guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.